Hi, this is Phil Menez, Vice President of Go-To-Market Execution for Vast Data. I'm sitting here with Jake Katz from Cisco. So Jake, can you quickly introduce yourself? What do you do for Cisco? And talk about Hyperfabric AI. Absolutely, let's start with an introduction. My name is Jake Katz. I'm a Vice President of AI for the connectivity business within Cisco, and specifically in this context, Hyperfabric AI. So what is Hyperfabric, Hyperfabric AI? We actually announced it about a year ago now, and Hyperfabric itself is actually available for customers now and the AI extension is coming out in the next few months. But what it is is a new operational model, how customers can more easily deploy, operate, manage on an ongoing basis an AI cluster on-prem, all managed through the cloud. We've been building out a data platform for AI, helping customers both on the training and inference side. Can you talk a little bit about what Vast and Cisco are doing together? Yeah, so the whole operational model of Hyperfabric AI is about ease of deployment, number one. So that ease of deployment starts from bomb creation to online validation to order deployment and on-prem validation and then operational validation bringing up the workloads. And as part of that, we want to offer like the most performance storage partnership that we can through Vast. So the people who are doing on-prem workloads have that ability to bring data directly onto the cluster, which is important from a performance standpoint. So that's really what it's about. It's an operational model managed through the cloud for ease of operation with high performance, everything else there. What we've seen is a lot of the early spend so far in AI, we've seen focused on the model builders and training, right? And we're now entering this new phase where we're at, at the very beginning of, I think, mass adoption of AI in the enterprise, which brings forward a whole other set of challenges and requirements. What do you see as the biggest challenges to customers taking advantage of AI in the enterprise today? That's a great question. I think there's a whole spectrum there, depending on where they are in that journey for AI. And I'd say number one is physical challenges. So the physical challenge is, can they place it? Can they place it? Can they power it? Can they cool it? Because AI comes in a lot of forms and it is challenging if it's a large cluster for those physical aspects. I think that the next day deployments, like the day two, operationally, the complexity of everything is pretty high. It's not a standard HPC environment. You're talking about high performance compute, right? So high performance GPU servers, which puts a lot of stress on the network, which puts a lot of stress on the storage. So now everything is the most performant you can get to get the most out of those GPU precious resources. So it stresses everything. So really, how do you manage that in a very clean operational manager so you get the most out of each of these resources? Absolutely. Yeah, we've seen a lot of customers with a ton of technical debt, right? So their data is trapped on legacy platforms obviously not designed to support things like GPUs, so we have to really set that data free, but also the complexity and, and the, the sheer number of components that customers have to bring together, whether it's a vector database, and then how do I operationalize AI, right, across those different aspects. So when we look at the partnership between Vast and Cisco, we're really an easy button for that entire spectrum of, of channels. And that's, that's awesome, because that's the whole, I mean, if there is to coin a phrase, easy button for AI deployment, as easy as we can make it, that is what Hyperfabric AI is about. One of the other big challenges that we're seeing with customers is around security in AI, right? I think there's a lot of really interesting things that customers know, but in order to fully operationalize it, they have to feel like their data is secure and protected end to end. How do you see Vast and Cisco complementing each other on that front? So there's a, a huge range of security instances that could be used within AI, and I think are relevant within AI, starting at like the model whether it's a large language model or a small language model, whatever they're using, and securing the model and who uses it and what kind of threat opportunities there are around that, that would be around our AI threat defense. But then it also comes down to more traditional security, which is along the lines of HyperShield, where it's securing or segmenting parts of the network via uh, VLANs or ACLs or firewalls. And then there is like securing the data, which I think is really important, securing it on, on VAST, because you don't want this thing to get loose to everybody who has access to the cluster. So I think these all are all elements of security that are important to customers who are doing this on-prem. Right, so it's absolutely securing every single layer in the way that you guys are securing really the access, right, of the environment and then vast looking at policies down at that data layer, I think an interesting challenge. It's very easy for enterprise customers to say, like, you can access a file and I can't, but now how do we pass that security on to large language models to say, yes. It can answer questions about the files or not, right? It's a really interesting challenge, and, and we're bringing a solution together that solves that challenge for enterprise customers. Are there some specific industries where you really see this having a big impact in the market? I think there are some first movers that are already out there in the market. I, I know you guys have seen this as well. There are 
the finance industries, there are the manufacturing industries, uh, there are health and life sciences, who I think have taken a natural affinity to AI for use cases where they can do both OPEX savings as well as drive top line and new innovation. Um, and then I think there's the long tail that are still in the, let's go play with this in the cloud before we bring it on-prem. Let's see what uh, a sales assistant or some kind of chatbot can do to operationally make things more efficient internally. So I think there's a long tail of customers that are just getting started, but there are those verticals that I just mentioned, I think have already found their way in terms of AI and those first, those first use cases. Yeah, absolutely. You kind of have the two approaches, which is, can I fundamentally change my business with AI really and, and unlock more value from my data? And also, can I make things a lot more efficient, right? And, and grow with less. How does this future-proof AI investments for customers? I think that a lot of them are looking to say, how do I make a step today and know that I'm building the right infrastructure for tomorrow? That's a great question. So infrastructure can be a tricky thing, especially today, with things like generations of GPUs coming at you left and right almost every year. One of the nice things about Hyperfabric and also Ethernet is that it has the ability to scale up and down. So the natural Hyperfabric AI cloud controller, you can go into the tool, you can build an extended bomb, you can create additional storage units, additional GP units, you can add them in and validate them into the cluster and then actually deploy it. So you can continue to grow with new use cases, new hardware, all kinds of new technology without stranding your initial resource, your initial investment. I think that's part of the beauty of two things. One, a flexible, scalable cloud controller, uh, strong partnerships with yourself and with NVIDIA, uh, and also Ethernet, because Ethernet allows us to be able to plug and play and scale. Yeah, absolutely. And I think one of the big areas where we're excited about what we've seen from our data platform so far is that it's flexibility to handle data collection, data prep, right, inference and training. So wherever you are in that journey, right, if I'm just bringing in, you know, off the shelf inference modules today, it's a great solution for that. If I wanna start training my own models or eventually doing more fine tuning, we're also equipped for that as well. So really wherever you are in your journey, this is a great place to get started and you're gonna be set up for success, regardless of where you wanna go with AI. If you're thinking about, I'm a customer, like how do they get started with this type of solution? Like where do we begin? That's a great question. And I would say like first, Experiment in the cloud. Go use ChatGPT. Get your feet wet. Start playing with some of the tools that are offered through, you know, our joint partners like NVIDIA. They offer a lot of tool sets for them to play with. And then in terms specifically of Hyperfabric, Hyperfabric AI, they actually don't have to buy anything to play with the tool. They can go online with Cisco credentials. They can log into the tool. They can actually build the fabric. They can build a cluster. They can build storage all in the tool. They can actually simulate it, validate it before ordering anything. So that's an easy way to start to play with it. And they can invite partners to help validate those designs. They can invite you to go in and look at it and say like, this is right or no, your amount of storage is incorrect for what you're trying to do, let's up that. So they can do that like day one, right now. Right, amazing. Loving getting your hands on the tools, figuring out how you're gonna operationalize. And I think, you know, once you begin that journey, a big thing that we believe here at Vast is that AI is driven from the data up. Right? And I think, you know, getting that data onto a platform that customers can tap into, bringing the right network connectivity, right, to allow that data to be fed to GPUs, whether you're doing training or inference, right? We really want to make sure we build that proper foundation for enterprise customers. And, and a lot of that journey is like, okay, how do we get an AI-ready infrastructure in place? Well, thank you folks for listening to Vast and Cisco talk about our Hyperfabric AI solution. And we're very excited to bring AI to the mass market enterprise customers. Yes, it's an awesome partnership. I hope everyone has a chance to like log in and play with the tools, explore more on Hyperfabric, explore more on Vast, and see really what we can bring to you.